What up guys? It's Chris with Bottle Cow Barbecue, and today I am fired up. No, not that kind of fired up. Oh, maybe. Yes, I am fired up. And not only that, but we're doing some fired up chicken. Today, I'm doing a collaboration with my buddy Eric over at Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. I'll leave a link to his channel up above. We're doing some talking, trying to figure out if we want to do a collaboration with anything. And the idea of spicy chicken came up. And the result was Roundhouse Kicking Chicken. That's right, we're doing a fired up spicy chicken sandwich. Now he's doing his own version. I'm pulling some inspiration from the Nashville hot chicken. It's not gonna be exactly the same, but I'm gonna make sure that this chicken has some definite heat and spice. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll put our chicken in a marinade. Now the chicken we're using today is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I just love using the thigh meat. Uh, it just has a lot of flavor. It's great for, for sandwiches. The base of the marinade is buttermilk. I got two cups here. Next, we're gonna add the zest of one lime. Here, you don't have to get all of it, just get most of it. Then we want the juice of the lime. Good tip for getting a lot of juice out of lemons and limes, do a roll. Next, you want three cloves of garlic. Um, I'm using squeezed garlic. Now you want your seasonings mix. Now, there are a lot of seasonings in here. Um, I'll put the recipe right, right here, um, but there's a, there's a bunch of chili powders in here, different kinds, paprika, cumin. Uh, turmeric is what gives it that bright yellow color. Um, coriander, so, so it's gonna be a lot of Southwest seasonings with a little flair from, from back east. Now we want a little bit of salt, a teaspoon worth. You want fresh black pepper. Again, probably about a teaspoon. Last thing you want, hot sauce. I'm using Louisiana hot sauce. Use whatever hot sauce you want. I'm going to use about a quarter cup. There we go. There is no doubt a lot of flavor and heat packed into this marinade. All right. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, okay. Put a chicken in the bag. Now this is a lot of marinade for this the chicken I'm using. Uh, this marinade probably do good for maybe four or six pieces of chicken. I'm only doing two right now, but pour it in. All right, our chicken's in the marinade. As you can see, there's a lot more marinade than chicken. So, marinated chicken is gonna be in the fridge about four hours. Um, if you're using bone-in chicken thighs or any, any th thicker type uh, cut of, of chicken, you wanna go longer. Um, I have heard 24 hours is the traditional, um, but anything six to eight for bone-in, probably good. So right before we pull out the chicken from the fridge, I just wanna get our little, call them mop, um, for, for when the chicken's cooking. Um, in the traditional Nashville hot, you would have the, um, oil, hot oil that you would pour on the chicken after it's done frying. Well, this is gonna be my version of it. So I just have one stick of unsalted butter here. I throw in this little little dish. Uh, if you have a little small cast iron pot or something you can throw on the grill without hurting it, uh, use that. But I'm, I'm just gonna use this so I can throw on the grill and don't have, don't have to keep anything, clean up anything. So one stick of unsalted butter. Uh, I'm gonna throw some more of our Vienza hot sauce in here. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna uh, whatever you f look look right. Again, you just, you just want this to be a kind of a hot dip for when it's cooking. And last thing I'm gonna do is I don't have the packaging, but this is from Cosmos Q Seven Pepper Facelift. This stuff is hot. Um, if you don't have this, use cayenne pepper, or, uh, use chili pepper, you, use whatever you want. Basically, this is just an extra layer of heat while it's out on the pit. This is all I'm gonna do. Again, when we're ready to take the chicken out, I'm just gonna throw this on the on the barbecue, let the butter melt, and then I'll mix it up. So it's been four hours, almost about four and a half actually. So these things are marinated. All I wanna do now is just take them out. Now, uh, unlike a, a soak or a, or a brine, you don't wanna wash these off. You don't wanna lose all that flavor. But what we are gonna do is we are gonna kinda wipe off the excess. 
you don't have to worry about getting every every little bit off but we're just getting the excess off okay that's good enough last thing you want to do we just want a little more salt and pepper on there just for the flavor okay these are ready for the for the barbecue um, I just dumped the coal so we're gonna head outside Sorry for the bad lighting, guys, but hey, work with what you got. But while we get our butter melted, uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw on our, our buns to get toasted. Throw it right over the coals. It's not gonna take long. Okay, see what we got. It's only been maybe 30 seconds. Look at that nice toast. So I got this, I got this screaming hot. There we go. Yep, perfect. Just just a little bit of char for that flavor. All right, let's go get the chicken. All right, guys, our butter is pretty much melted, all blended together, all those spices. So we're gonna pull off to the side here. Yeah, let's get our chicken on. It's oh, right on there. Because we're doing sandwiches, go ahead and scoot up a little bit. We get it together. Don't have to stretch it out. Should be a pretty fast cook just because we took the thigh um, and deboned it so it's a thin piece of meat. Okay, go ahead and take your hot mop right over top. Oof. Yeah. it over, do another wipe of the mop. Pull off the edge. Not, we're not going full indirect, but just, just getting them off the flames there. Move them around as needed. Still gonna be a fast cut. Uh, if, if you don't have a kettle or anything, use a cast iron or, or use a, a, a skillet um, in the kitchen. Uh, you can get the same effect. I just, I'm still trying to learn this Weber, so I got this thing going. Loving it so far. Once the flames die down, you can put it back over the hot spot. I think all total, we're going to do maybe about three minutes per side. Um, you're flipping, obviously, so. We're going to be turning it a few times, but all total, it's probably going to be about three minutes per side to get fully cooked. You're looking for 165. Try a different approach this time. Go ahead and flip them. Take a mop over here when we're not above the coals directly. And move it over. There we go. Still got a flare up, but it dies out quicker. Using this butter as a mop, it's gonna give the chicken a great texture. It's gonna be firm on the outside. It's gonna keep it nice and juicy on the inside. Okay, we're about five minutes in. Chicken's reading about 160. So we're almost there. I love that color. All right, one last wipe with the mop. And this thing is hot. Over here. Check our root temp. 165, 170. Yep, we are done. All right, so even though this is a spicy sandwich, I don't want these things to burn my mouth by the temperature. So we're gonna get these things off. We're gonna let them rest a little bit. And then we'll come back when we're building our sandwich. You can see this color on these things. 
All right, I can't wait anymore to eat these things, so let's start building. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our toasted bun, we're gonna get some good old mayo, and put that a little bit on the top. I'm trying to stay a little traditional with, with the inspiration that I got. So a little, little mayo on top, let's get our chicken. Because of the size of buns, because of the size of buns I have, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the chicken in half. Put one there, there, and we're gonna take some dill pickles. Speaking of pickles, if you don't, if you haven't visited this channel yet, go ahead and check out my buddy Pickles Barbecue. I'll leave a link to his channel up above. Good buddy of mine. Um, doing some fantastic stuff on his channel, so please go check him out. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do in this, put on this thing. All right, see if you can see the color of that chicken. How juicy it is. Ah, all right, let's give it a taste test. Now, it's pretty big, juicy, and I know it's packed full of flavor and heat. So, uh, sorry for the lighting, guys. I'm still working on it, but hey, Give it a try, all right? <laughs> yep, there's the heat. Yeah, it's building. <laughs> it's building. There it goes. Okay, so that classic um, East Coast spicy chicken sandwich, just done a different way, but with the little different spices. Chicken's tender. Again, using that, that, that butter mop, the outside gets um, gets firm, has a little crust on it. The inside stays nice and juicy. Man, there you go. Look at that. Look at how juicy that chicken is. So, heat-wise, it's pretty hot. Um, I know people that couldn't stand it. Um, for me, I love heat. It's not... It's not, oh my God. I could have done a little bit more to kick it up, but I just wanted a nice spicy chicken. I didn't want to blow my taste buds out of the water. Um, so it's a good chicken sandwich. It's actually really good. It's phenomenal. I love it. Um, I'm, in, I'm gonna be making this for my friends, guaranteed. Or another idea, guys, if you're having a party, check this out. Anyway guys, hope you liked this. Eric, thanks again for doing this collaboration with me. It was really fun. It let me think outside the box and I create my own recipes based on other inspirations. So thank you very much, Eric. Again guys, check out Eric over at Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Great guy, great cook. He's a, he's a phenomenal supporter of the community as well. So please go check him out. Other than that guys, hey, please like this video. Uh, check out all my other stuff. Subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more stuff going on I have a lot of plans in my head if I can get them out on the grill speaking of that guys It's like I always said till next time keep on grilling <coughs> Oh man <coughs> Yeah, this thing's gonna be hot. Just the, just the juices and the flavors coming out of this thing. It's splashing around. <laughs> oh.